Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton. I'm a practicing physician assistant of 30 years in nutrition, prevention, and integrative medicine, author, health educator, and host of this show, The Staying Healthy Today Show. Today's show topic is When Sex Hurts. About two or three years ago, I went with a colleague in the office to a sexual health uh, conference, and one of the speakers was Dr. Andrew Goldstein, um, and he wrote this book, When Sex Hurts, and he's an internationally known expert on this issue. And one of the things he brought up in young women was the birth control pill. So here's how it might work. And there was an article I just pulled out entitled by Dr. Goldstein and Dr. Burroughs, The Treatment of Vestibulodynia with Topical Estradiol and Testosterone. And here's the story. The birth control pills is made up of synthetic estrogen and progesterone, usually more progesterone. And it can increase a protein in the body called sex hormone binding globulin. And what that hormone does is it binds on to free hormone. So if you have more sex hormone binding globulin, you have less free hormone and that's the stuff that makes everything work. For example, I'm a male. Let's say I had an 800 testosterone level and Joe Smith over here had an 800 testosterone level. But I had a 100 sex hormone binding globulin and Joe over here had a 20. He would have more free testosterone available so that 800 really doesn't mean a whole lot. It's the free testosterone to do what testosterone does. So the same thing would happen in a female. The birth control pill can lower testosterone and estradiol or estrogen because it increases sex hormone binding globulin. So in this study, what they did was they took young women, mean age of 26 years of age, who didn't have other reasons for sexual pain, which included tense muscles. Uh, it included some uh, dermatologic conditions or infections, and birth control pills were the only risk factor. And what they did was they took them off the birth control pills and they put them on estrogen and testosterone creams around the vestibule, the, the area around the opening to the, the vagina. And lo and behold, what happened after several weeks was testosterone levels started to go up, sexual pain went down, and the healing occurred, the inflammation went down. And I distinctly remember at his lecture, over and over again, he said, in young women, the first thing you want to ask for is if people are, if females are having sexual pain, are they on the birth control pill? And you want to do at those levels and, and find out if that's the issue. So in young women, that would be estrogen and testosterone, but getting off the pill is important. In older women, it still may be estrogen and testosterone because they just don't have as much. And so you can give creams to older postmenopausal females, and the same thing can happen. And one of the side benefits, aside from less pain sexually, is that they get stronger muscles down there and they may have less urinary incontinence. So, if you have sexual pain in a young person you're on birth control pills, bring this to attention of your doctor. And here's how, what you can do. I will have links in the description below this YouTube to Dr. Goldstein's book, When Sex Hurts. I'll have a link to this article, the treatment of vestibulodynia with topical estradiol and testosterone in the description below the YouTube. And another one, which said the same thing, it said the effect of combined oral contraceptives on testosterone levels in healthy women. A meta-analysis, that means they put a bunch of studies together and sure enough, the testosterone levels were lower on those on the birth control pill. So, my name is Kirk Hamilton. You have a great day. Sign up for my health letter. Remember, all the information is in the description below this YouTube. And I'll talk to you soon and you have a great day.